Hello everyone, a uh, really quick video here on uh, cove cutting. You might want to cut a curved uh, cove in something like this. The reason I'm doing it is uh, to support the neck of my guitar when I'm doing fret work. And um, a quick way to do it is using the table saw. There's a, a technique, it's fairly simple to do. <clears throat> I'm about to do it now so that I can carry on fretting my uh, guitar. So I thought I'd show you what, what it is I'm doing. And hopefully it will be successful. How do we do a cove cut? Let's get to it. Right, if I lift you up a little bit again, apologies for the camera action. You see what I've done? I've taken the fence off the saw. I've clamped this um, spirit level as a guide and I've just got the teeth of the saw blade showing. The intention here is to slide this along nice and slow and easy and cut through that way and then once I've made one pass raise the teeth up a little bit and cut again. So let's see how this works. Okay, there's the start of a nice cove down there. Should work nicely. So this is obviously quite time consuming. Lift the teeth up half a turn and uh, I'll try and speed things up for you. Success. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. A nice, neat um, cove cut there. It didn't take too long. Once you get going, as long as you don't put too much of your tooth up into the workpiece, you can go through relatively quickly, as long as you keep a nice, smooth uh, push. And if you're feeling resistance, then back off a little bit. Um, if you want a more, uh, a kind of, uh, a smaller radius to your cut, then present your piece to the blade at a more shallow angle, or a more acute angle rather, and then the more you open up that angle, the wider your cove becomes. I'm using it to, basically I don't want to present any sharp edges to this, uh, but I do want it supported along its length so that I can uh, bang in some uh, frets. And this does a, a nice job of that without presenting any sharp edges and damaging the wood. So, Cove cuts. Simples. Don't go. A final disclaimer before you uh, before you do sign off. You do this technique at your own risk. I am not a professional woodwork instructor. I can't uh, see what you're doing in your workshop. So make sure you understand this technique before you try it. It's not using the saw in its usual way or what it was designed to do, so it has inherent risk in it because of that. Make sure your fence is clamped really securely or even screwed it if you've got an outfeed table, for example, screw the fence in, make sure it's not going anywhere. Only use the very tiniest cuts on each pass. Only the hardened tips of your blade should be touching the work. It, anything else and you start bringing the risk of kick back into play. It's a messy cut, wear a dust mask. And when you've finished, don't forget, put your riving knife back on. Other than that, it's a great little bit of uh, additional skills in the workshop, so enjoy it. Bye.